what I wanted to make sure happened out of my conversation with those with eight or ten young people that morning was that uh, we had indeed an opportunity to get to those issues. It seemed to me that the Hilltopper issue had been was on its way to resolution. So my goal in speaking with those young people was to say, for gosh sakes, let's not focus exclusively on the Hilltopper incident. Let's choose those battles which are long-term important. Seems to me you've resolved the Hilltopper issue. Let's get on to these other things and make sure they stay on the table. A developing story tonight on a local college campus. Some classes canceled as students gathered together to protest a symbol of hatred. It's unfolding on the campus of Denison University in Granville. 10 TV News reporter Andy Hirsch joins us now with the story. Jerry, I don't know if you can see behind me here what's left of about what was 150, 200 or so students outside Slater Hall here on campus. Kind of an impromptu demonstration after a, uh, another message of hate was found. This was slipped under the door of a black resident hall advisor sometime this morning. My name is Marlene Trump. I'm the director of women's studies, and I'm proud to say that I will not stop. I will not stop. I will not be silent. I will not stand for this in my community, and you don't have to either. This is intolerable. This is unacceptable. This is appalling. I will not stop causing trouble. I will not stand still while one person is suffering on this campus because of racism, sexism, homophobia, hate because of their religious beliefs, hate because of how they look. It is not acceptable. I won't stop. If we reinstated some form of the J requirement, uh, students would have a requirement in their courses, their GE package, of taking something that helps them learn about uh, power and institutionalized oppression and inequality. Otherwise, we couldn't have the kind of denial about racial injustice that we still have or about GLBT injustice. So we really need to know how those systems operate. Can we be taught by people who bring different paradigms, who come from different subject positions? Uh, to be taught by a homogeneous group of faculty wouldn't, would not be a liberal arts education in my view.